So I just stopped off this garage because I realised I don't have any lunch yet. So I'm just going to get some now. Lunch acquired. We got this wrap. And I got a few other things. So we're just going to head off now on the motorway. We should have another 40 minutes driving, I think. We have arrived. Yeah, yeah red lights on nice that. One. Cheers, mate. These GoPro batteries though are shit. They run out of battery in like 20 minutes. Yeah, Matt, I remember taking one on holiday with me, diving. Yeah. yeah. And we were fucking about on about that much. Then when I actually loaded it up, it was just me following this Russian round a uh, bird's arse on the fucking <laughs> missus. <laughs> 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 yeah, well done. Where are you going?
Ooh. So I just pulled over. Um, I've got mad arm pump. I had mad arm pump the whole time. It was absolutely horrible. Uh, fingers as well, like reaching for the clutch started to hurt. It was horrible. But yeah, it was the first time I've really done proper off-roading. So I'm pretty happy with how it went. So just to like recap the day, basically you get there, you have to sign, sign a piece of paper. Then uh, they sort of go through how the bike works for people that you know, maybe haven't ridden that much before. Um, and then you're given all your kit, all the kit supplied. Um, and then basically they make you go around in a circle just to make sure you can actually um, use the bike properly um, before they take you to the, the track and uh, sort of through the forest. And then basically we had two, two like groups. Um, so one group would go out and then you'd have a break. Then you'd go out, the other group would have a break. But yeah, I did the, at the beginning, I did the uh, circle, like the little oval thing where they just make sure you can ride all right. And uh, the guy said that I was sitting way too far back, um, which is quite natural because when you're on a track bike, you tend, well, you sit back a lot further back and obviously tuck in. Whereas on the motocross, it's got, you've got to be sat really far forward and you've got to have the handlebars like right here. It's, it's weird to me. I'm not used to it. So I had to really think about that when I next went out. I had to keep it in the front of my mind to really sit forward on the bike. But yeah, we did about three sessions um, on the like, little track thing they had. Um, so I got pretty comfortable with it. I wasn't overly fast, I wouldn't say. I was still struggling a bit and arm pump was mad. I had to stop every now and then. And then after that, they sort of took us into the forest a bit. Um, I only managed to record the last two sessions, um, but I got all of it in. So I got a bit on the track and I got a bit in the forest. So. Happy with that, at least I got all the footage I needed. So I wasn't too sure if they'd allow the um, GoPro chest, chest strap, this bad boy. Because obviously if you crash and you land, it's gonna work. Lucky I didn't crash and they did let me. So I got some footage, which was good. But yeah, overall, loved it, absolutely loved it. I went on my own, um, which at first is a little bit daunting, going on your own, I suppose. Um, it probably is better with friends, but there were some great people there anyway, um, and I didn't really, I didn't feel like alone or anything. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it was, it was good. But I recommend it. Anyone that wants to have a go, definitely have a go. The Kawasaki's a pretty good bike. I mean, that's the only one I've ridden. So um, I actually wore. I was wearing, um, kind of by accident, I didn't do this on purpose, but I wore a Yamaha jumper to a Kawasaki event, and they weren't too pleased, to be honest, which I don't blame them, but if I'm honest, I probably still do prefer Yamaha. Sorry. So the plan now is just basically to head home. Um, we've finished for the day. I just pulled over uh, on the side of the road. It's about an hour drive back, back to my house. So I'll smash that out, get some good tunes playing. It is the 19th of February and it is an absolutely beautiful day. Absolutely beautiful. I don't know what the weather, like the temperature is, but it must be at least 12 or 12 to even 15 degrees maybe. It's, it's beautiful. I had the best day for it. No rain. Nice hot, hot weather. Hot for the UK. So yeah, let's head home.